Hello and welcome to part 5 of my Pokemon Red and Blue randomized Nuzlocke both games with one controller playthrough thingamajig. This episode is brought to you by a lack of sleep. Uh, this should be really interesting. I've had three hours sleep and I'm trying to control two games with one controller. Uh, so first things first, let's have a quick recap of where we are at. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, over on red, we currently have Kappa the Gold Duck. Uh, and on blue, we have Gary the Machop. These are not soul linked or anything like that. These just happen to be our first two pairs in the uh, in in the party. The um, the rules are in the description, so if you're not sure what's going on, A, go back and watch the rest of the series, it's only four episodes, but B, you'll find the, descri the uh, description of the rules in the description, funnily enough. Um, so yeah, we have Kappa, who's level 12, and Gary, who's level 16 on blue. Um, Kappa has Scratch, Tail Whip, and Disable, while whatever I just called my chop has Karate Chop. Oh my god, what was it? Was it Gary? It was Gary, lovely. Okay, you might notice the Greg on each side. They're our starters. We had to name them the same thing because we were picking them at the same time and obviously naming them at the same time and the same controller was doing both. So, yeah, there you go. Um, oh, wonderful. So let's go down to the bottom and up to stats. So we have Risk on red, who I remember is a Raihorn or a Raidon. And then we have Greg on blue, who is level 24 and a Kadabra. So, yeah, Raihorn on the left on red is... Uh, Level 10, Greg, level 24. Raihorn just, this the Raihorn just has Horn Attack. Greg the Kadabra has Confusion, Teleport and Disable, and he's just way OP. And blue is Easy Street at the moment, and red, not so much. Um, and then we have Greg on red is Jolteon, and Scotty, who, his nickname made sense when we caught him as a Caterpie for one level, uh, is now a Butterfree at level 14. Uh, Greg, Red Greg, has Thundershock, Sound Attack, Quick attack and tackle. Butterfree. Scotty has uh, confusion, string shot, and tackle. Okay, worst team recap in all time over with. Also, just situational recap. Um, Red still hasn't beaten Brock because, well, you've just seen that. We have a team that's all level 10s and 12s um, with no move whatsoever that can hit rock ground types. Uh, and both, even though that's Brock's usual MO, both, both uh, games are actually randomised, but basically if I lose one Nuzlocke, I lose both Nuzlocke, and Red is getting walled by a Geodude or an Onyx or a Raihorn, ironically considering I've got a Raihorn, um, or anything anything along those lines at the moment, so that's why we're, we're just training up in the forest. Over on the right, uh, we're outside Mount Moon, but I feel like we got most of the way through Mount Moon. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get us a battle on uh, red to kick things off, I think. So let's actually get in the in the grass, that would be a good idea. Cool. There we go, okay, now we can start walking with blue. Lickitung, okay, because we're going to have to do some serious training over on red, just to get ourselves pretty much ready. Now, I can't remember how much of this... Oh, do you know what I can do? I can look. Oh no, the items are randomised, aren't they? Oh, damn. Right, well, hang on. We got TM34. Um... Oh, it's kind of hard to say. Let's have a look down here, shall we, on blue? So, oh, we're confused on red. That's not good. Come on, come on. Fight through it, red. Fight through it, Kappa. Damn it, come on. Come on, Kappa. No, don't get rap spammed. Oh, okay. Worst nightmare on red is reality over on uh, blue. The chap could probably deal with this, but just why? Whoa. Um. There we go. I was trying to figure out how to do that then. <laughs> why why, why make him deal with that when he doesn't have to, is what I was going to say. Uh, Scotty's defense greatly fell, which is a problem. Uh-oh. No, Kappa. Ooh.
Uh, it's gonna have to be Risk, I guess. And one thing I'm not allowing, by the way, uh, in case it's not covered in the rules, because I can't remember how I wrote out the rules exactly, I'm not allowing me to sort of, like, input spam until it registers on one game and not on the other to get myself off being synchronised. That's the whole point of the challenge, is that at times we'll be synchronised with something we don't want to be. Uh, and we just have to figure out what the best the best option for both games is. Best option across the games. Okay, so, um... So I need to heal on red. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it on the enemy victory bell fainted screen until we start talking to Nurse Joy. I think that's a bit of a plan. A bit of a plan. Oh man, with a plan. Yeah, I've had three hours sleep uh, before recording this. So, oh, Gary's level 17. So this should be super interesting trying to coordinate two games. I don't even feel like I'm capable of running one game at the moment. Okay, it looks like we've already been down here on blue. Whoopsie! Trying to keep track of, like... Oh, look! A gold duck. Huh. Um, look, it's Kappa. Yeah, I've been trying to keep track of... Oh, where am I going? Okay, I... See? I'm like, I can't even keep track of a game. Never mind, like, doing two at once. Right, so back to training. Back to training in the forest. And I believe I decided the forest was preferable to, like, route two. So I'll just take past me's word for that, because past me had more of an idea what was going on than I currently do. So, <laughs> there we go. There's an encounter. So now we can, right, we've picked that up on blue. So let's, let's get out of here. Execute. That won't have a grass type move for a good while, if at all. I don't think it learns one by level up, actually. So we're good. Okay, we can take on a Nidorino over on. Over on blue, no problem, I would think. Oop, oh, where am I going? Get me an encounter. There we go. There we go. This is this is really difficult. To okay, so here's where th this is why this is why I feel like I need um, something a bit better because that's level three. He could have a level 12 or 14 one of these, and look at the damage I just didn't do. Like, that was kind of a bit ridiculous, to be honest. It's level 3. That thing is level 3. Right. Okay, I was just about to say, so this girl has an audition of Bellsprout. No, it's randomised. It's randomised. It's randomised. Both games are randomised. It's a copy of red and a copy of blue, so they're obviously different randomizers. so I don't know what I'm going to encounter on red, just because I'm ahead of the game on... On blue. Doesn't mean I know anything. Oh, she's got a vile plume! Oh, that's cool. She's actually kind of got the Pokemon she's supposed to have, but evolved. That's cool. I like that. She put more work in than vanilla uh, Pokemon Blue Girl. Oh, come on! We, we didn't need that, did we? That, that was impolite, that was. We're gonna have to go back and heal again. Fully paralyzed. Wonderful. Alright, come on. I don't know what level I'm training up to on red, but I have to grind, otherwise I just I might lose the luck, and that's not fun for anyone losing on episode five, is it? Neither is training, but you know, at least at least grinding still has like a degree of interest to it. Like, holy hell, when did my health get that low on blue? Uh, come on, get me an encounter. There we go. Okay, right. What's happening on blue? Kabuto. Uh, I will switch Pokemon. In fact, I will switch to Scotty. Oh, look at the type advantage that I don't have because I don't have a water type move. Wonderful. Right, so Scotty should be able to do with Kabuto nicely over there. On, on blue, our team is, is I'd say, I was going to say nicely balanced, but it's not. It's it's pretty OP, if I'm being honest. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's get another encounter on red before, I think on blue, I'm going to have to head out again. I'm, I'm getting a bit miffed at that, but whatever. Whatever, playing the long game. Playing the long game. Look how look how slow red's going. It's okay to go a little bit slower on blue, I guess. Go on, get out of there. Get out of there. Nope. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Now, I don't. I, this is no danger to me because move sets aren't randomised, so it, it only has teleport. Oh, it's faster than me. I was gonna say I've got to try and attack it because it's not gonna hit me. I might as well try and take it out. It's got weak defence. Imagine that my chop in Gen One is like. Actually, a good answer to Abra. That's crazy. I mean, not a trainer's Abra that's got t access to TMs and what have you, but a wild Abra 
Man, the chap's a pretty good answer to, actually. Okay, we're in a battle on red. I'm happy to stay in that battle on red for a second. With my critical hit screen. Have we fought her? Yeah, of course we have. Let's try and get a little further on blue now. This is this is a, a little technique that isn't against the rules at all. Like, this isn't exploiting input lag or anything like that. This is just tactically choosing when to press your buttons. And I think it's going to help us actually get through. Oh, okay, we had an execute on red. And then as soon as we ticked off it, we had an executor on blue. It evolved and jumped over. Okay, I think, I think Gary can take this thing. Yeah, pretty much. And it only uses the barge and it misses. That is beautiful. Thank you very much, Executor. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Niddle Queen. Okay. So I'm guessing we've not been down here yet. Oh. On blue. I'm guessing that's where we were up to. Because we've not taken on that trainer. And I, I pretty much always do Mount Moon in the same order every time. So I pretty much know where I'm up to now. I've done the first set of stairs. I've done, I should have done the entire lower part of the the floor as well, because I tend to do that before I go down the stairs. I, I could have gone down the stairs first, I really don't know. Um, someone let me know if I've missed a bit, and I'll come back, what, once we get through Diglett's Cave. Let's get into a battle on blue, there we go. Oh, pulling a big jab here, get lost kid. Right, I don't want it in sync going into the battle, which it pretty much is now. <laughs> right, it's okay. It's okay, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, I don't know what Mr. Mime's gonna have. Probably confusion and barrier or something, I don't know. Something lame. Oh, there's barrier. Caught it. Whoa, don't be putting me to sleep. Oh, come on. Okay, it's doing one with barrage. Barrage, darling. The barrage. Wake up, idiot. Wake up, it's a beautiful morning. If I've had three hours of sleep, you can have three turns. Much up. I don't even know how many turns it's been, I've not been counting. Oh come on, much up. Let's let's wake up now. Oh good, we, oh good, we're getting barrage spammed on the right and we're getting um, rap spammed on the left. Terrific. Way, we're awake. Good morning. Right, Molly Whop it. There we go. Molly Whop. That crit definitely didn't matter, but whatever. About to use Jinx. Okay. Uh, no, I'm going to stick with Gary until level 20, and then I'll switch to training Scotty a bit more. We're in sync, actually, picking moves at the moment, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too dangerous because we're basically just using our top move on everything. Oh, is this confusion or oh, I sleep? Okay. Night that's good, to be fair. Okay, that's not doing that much when we woke up. It's fast though, wow. Wow, Jinx is fast. Come on, give me an encounter on red. Come on, show me potato salad. Oh, wow, come on. When you don't want encounters, they just pop up all over the place. When you want them, there you go, you get a situation like that. Okay, we defeated Rocket over on blue. Here's another Raihan. Grab that hidden item. Hup up! I've already got one of them. Cool. We're getting... We're just getting all the luck on blue. We've got good items. We've got good Pokemon. TM42. Have we got good TMs? I've probably checked my TMs, but I don't remember what they were. String shot. Okay, so not all of the good luck. <laughs> What's this one? Thundershock. Not bad. I think I was debating teaching someone that, actually. What's this one? Hypnosis. Okay. Not terrible. Um, what do you reckon I'm going to get one? Yep, I'm going to get one on blue first, even though it's on red that I want it. Yep. Pretty standard, that. Pretty standard. <coughs> oh, and on top of having had next to no sleep, I'm also still a little bit ill. So, uh, yay! Yay! Yay for fun lifetimes. Okay, we're in wrap on red, because that's that's what we want. That's what we want. Alliterative troll moves, that's what we want. Right, okay, so while red's dealing with that, blue can be on his merry way. Yep, yeah, hello. Hello! Did you come to explore too? No. No. 
No, I'm just trying to get through. Oh my god, how many turns can that last for? 108? What's going on? Why am I on top? Did, did I seriously tail whip it? <laughs> okay, and then music notwithstanding. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, gonna wait a second on the fight screen. Just because I just want to get healed. I don't want to have to deal with that annoying noise. I could switch, but I think I feel like training one at a time is a good way to go because it's hard enough to keep track of as it is, to be honest. <laughs> it's probably a good idea to uh, just to stay focused on one Pokemon. Yay, level 20 over on blue. That's that's Gary dealt with. Gary learned low kick. Oh, nice. Will I switch? Yes, I will to Scotty. Oh, there we go. Confusion. Wow, not a one shot. Actually, a little bit surprised by that. It's not stab though. Just think, if I was part psychic, that would have, have been a knockout. Oh, I thought I got the crit on the first one instead of the second one. Yeah, look at this. This is a successful battle. Levels for days and poison powder. Very nice. Charbok. Oh, I'm not switching. No, Charbok's a, a good match for for uh, Scotty. Scotty. I think what we're going to aim for, let's just aim for level 15 and hope that having three level 15s is enough to take out. What? He'll have like, um, he'll have two magic arps or something. Losing stinks. So do you. So does your mama. Oh, got him. Oh, a chance to see. That's some nice. Oh, I haven't switched. Oh, well. This will be some nice, easy experience. Let's test out our new low kick before we switch uh, Gary from the front. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, let's get back into a battle. On Red. Come on, Red. Come on, Pokemon. Jump out at me. Where, can I buy the opposite of a Repel, please? There we go. Okay. Right, so... Switch. Cool. Okay, making, making progress. Making, making progress. Oh, we're going to be battling. Uh, Meowth. Okay. I think uh, Scotty can take that. Without wanting to be too flippant, of course. Don't underestimate anything at the moment. I mean, the correct answer is Greg on blue can take anything. Like, anything that gets put in front of us. We just switch to Greg if it's a struggle for anyone else. But we don't want to. We want to train up. <coughs> That's a little scary. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that... Is that going to have something like explosion? It's not going to have an electric move. It's tackle. Okay, good. <clears throat> I don't feel like it has explosion, even as an electrode, but... Evolved Pokemon can have weird, lower level movesets, I've found, so... A little sketchy, that one. But it's only level 6, I don't think it's got that good of attack, so... Oh, good! What's your money on is getting an encounter on? Oh, look, it was blue. Oh, look, it was blue. <clears throat> Come on, where's my encounter on red? I've like practically killed this thing. Well, okay, maybe maybe not so much. But I've started. <laughs> wow, the Vaporeon's putting in some work actually. There we go. Oh look at the crit that I didn't need again. Okay, there's level 16, final and stun spore. That's gonna be better than string shot. It's just, that is just pretty much better String Shot, isn't it, really, if you think about it. String Shot, except it slows them down more and gives them a chance of just not attacking at all. What do you reckon we're going to get the encounter on? Oh, look, it's blue. Seriously, every single time. I get the encounter rate's probably higher in Mount Moon, like, overall, but still, it's ridiculous. I'm trying to grind on red, and all we're doing is getting encounters on blue. I'm trying to get through on blue. Oh, come on. Am I going to have to go back and heal? What an inconvenient! Oh, hello. Hello, item list. Oh dear. Okay, that's good damage. Damage. Right. I feel like I'm just going to end up strong arming my way through with a... With... Oh no! Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, I can... Oh. Oh, that changes everything. I forgot about that. Okay, let's just... Oh, we can't? We can't! Oh, okay, that doesn't... 
No escape ropes. We have actually got a repel. I might use that on blue. I might go back and heal on blue, actually. Come on. Right, okay. Did I battle that guy? Did I battle that hiker? I don't actually remember. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna come back through one more time. I might repel, you know. I might repel on blue. Okay, it's gonna escape, but whatever. There we go. Oh, come on. We don't need that execute. We don't need your attitude. In fact, just while I'm escaping, I am actually going to uh, put Greg out front just to deal with any uh, any inconveniences. Because I'm paralyzed, so running's not going to be that good of an option. Um, I don't really need to train Greg up. I'm just, I'm kind of just curious at this point. Will of Confusion one shot an Abra? Yes. Wow. Cool. I mean, with the evolved form of it and like three times its level, but I just wasn't sure how that was going to go with it being resisted. Hey, we woke up and hypnosis on the turn we woke up. Isn't that just great? Oh, we woke up again. That is actually pretty great. <laughs> that's actually pretty great. <laughs> oh, come on. That's not pretty great. That's annoying. Woo-wee! One of my little uh, rules I like to follow when I'm doing a Nuzlocke, by the way, before anyone asks the, the obvious question, is uh, I don't buy potions because that just promotes potion spamming. So I just I tend to uh, keep the potion usage to what I find. You know, like lying around or what I get given by people in the game. Like, I, I don't go to Marts and buy a massive pile of potions. Feels a bit cheaty, to be honest. This is why I don't. Right, I think you're going to enjoy some Pokemon Red battle music. Because I think what I'm going to do oh, is see how far through I can get on blue without an encounter. But the answer's not very. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. You know what I should have done? I should have had a drink when I woke up. Like, not a, a drink drink, just something to wet my throat because... Oh, I have drinks. I have drinks up here. Oh, I don't know if this is any good. How long has this been open for? I have juice. Let's give it a smell. I'm only going to drink the tiniest amount of that because I think it needs to run out. I'm not sure how long my juice has been open in the fridge. But needs must. I just needed something to wet my throat because I was going to just cough incessantly if I didn't. Alright, can we please get through Mount Moon in this episode, Blue? And again, you'll see I'm uh, I'm sticking with sticking to uh, just leaving that screen on for as long as I don't get an encounter over in Blue. Oh, look! Matching games! Woohoo! Confu oh, you have not switched to use at the front, have I? Just noticed that. Oh well. Maybe we oh, we oh, look at this! Dueling barrages, darling. Okay, we need to switch some of the crossover on. Over on blue. Oh, nope. There, just got it back to the front. No. Oh! That's... Oh, oh, damn it. I was in the menu. That would have been a really good idea to just stick with that. Oh, look. Got an encounter in blue again, but not in red. It's all the time. It is all the time. Tackle might do more to this than confusion. Like, no lie. Let's see how much it does. Okay. Not terrible. Should we see how much confusion does? I mean, maybe I'm overestimating Scotty's attack stat. No, that, I think Tackle actually just about did more. That's how different Chance's defences are. Oh, come on. Oh, right, best keep an eye on that, actually. I'm down to 15 health. Okay, use Hypnosis again, that's okay. Miss Barrage, that's okay as well. Have we battled you? Oh, no, we've not battled you, okay. So I'm doing one per Barrage, darling. Can we wake up though, please, Kappa? That'd be great. I'm sleeping on the job. Oh, okay, that's a good first Pokemon for him to send out. Can deal with that. Yay, we woke up. Oh, come on. It's like the game knows. Hey! Oh, that's cheeky. 
Uh, well, I switched Pokemon, I didn't see what it was, but no, I will not. Slowbro, that's going to be... Oh, it's going to have confusion. That's going to be a job for Greg, actually, just to outpower, to out-psychic it. I think we're going to go heal. Oh, no, I'm gone. We're level 15 over here, aren't we? How much are we off level 16? Oh, we're quite, it's still quite a way off. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna switch. But, oh. But just in case we need Kappa for any switch training, I'm still going to go and heal. But someone else is turned to get to level 15 now. Hey, Scotty level 17. I can't believe. Sleep powder, how different our fortunes have been on the two games. Like, Red's turned into a real grind fest because we've got nothing. Oh my god! You idiot. You idiot. You absolute idiot. Absol- Oh my god, stop, stop healing. Now it basically can't fight for itself, and we're fighting a Mewtwo. I mean, it can fight for it. Just give it a shot. I don't think it's that long until it learns Psybeam. On the plus side. On the downside, we're depending on Tackle. Oh my goodness, okay. Taking on Mewtwo with a Butterfree. <clears throat> that only knows Tackle as an offensive move. Because I'm an idiot. Who was just pressing A. Even though I knew I was learning a new move, I just didn't register it because I'm too tired. Basically, just my brain just couldn't, I was talking, I was healing, <coughs> I was thinking about the difference between the two games, <coughs> and that was as many thought processes as I could manage, that and how annoying my voice is getting, so, wow, shocked again, yeah, so was I, mate, so was I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's just call it quits here, I know I wanted to get Ma Mount Moon done on blue, but I think we're at risk of actually losing the game if I carry on in the current state of mind. Um, so I'm going to call it quits here. In the next episode, I'm pretty sure Blue will get through Mount Moon. And I'm pretty sure Red will not challenge Brock in the next episode. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. Also, don't forget to check out the description, not just for the rules, as I said at the start of the, uh, the episode, but also for the links to my other channels, my social media, uh, and my Patreon, all that good stuff is in the description down below. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.